Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your own custom C++ class into the UI of when you create a new Blueprint class. So I'm referring to this Blueprint class. So you're in the Content Browser, you right-click, you do Blueprint class, and then you're given common classes. You're given an array of easily accessible classes, so you could just quickly pick a parent class from C++ to then create a Blueprint Actor version of it. Um, so I, I created this, not created this, I found how to do this during my live stream uh, with our Hero Project. I'll, I'll link that stream in the description below. Um, I really wanted to find a, a way to add one of my gameplay effect classes to the common classes so that I can easily create that class and create a Blueprint uh, from that class instead of having to go to all classes and then you know type something in find it and hit select I can simply just click on the actor or whatever class and it'll create a blueprint uh, from scratch so I'm going to show you how to do that today it's actually uh, something you can add to your uh, I believe it's the default editor INI a config file uh, so before we get started I want to just say I created a C++ uh, third person project um, in 4.25 Preview 7, so that's what I'm working with right now. In my live stream, I'm using, uh, again, the third-person template project. Uh, I'm building the game from scratch with the engine source code. Uh, this, this project that we're looking at right here in this tutorial was just made from the Epic Games launcher as a C++ project in 4.25, so I just want to make sure that that part is clear. So what we can do first is create the class that we want to add uh, to that UI, to that config. So let's just create one a new C++ class. So let's make it an actor. And we'll just call it test actor. And we'll do create class. And this will generate the code and open up Visual Studio for us. Uh, so I'll be back in just a second once that's done. Okay, so Visual Studio has finished compiling and it's opened and it's giving us the new test actor source and header files here. We don't have to do anything. We don't actually have to add any code. The only thing we really need to pay attention to is the hierarchy here. So I named my project uh, pick class, so that's the name of the folder. And in here we got test actor. So knowing the directory here, pick class, and the name of the actor is what's important here. Uh, so before we update our config file, we can first kind of show you where I found this information originally. So this is my development project. This is the one I'm working on with the live stream. If you go into the engine folder and you go into the config, you'll find a base editor INI. And it's in here. Uh, it's kind of far. Uh, you'll find this section. Right? And this is where this is the actual stuff that we just saw in the UI inside of the, ed uh, the editor. So these are the classes, uh, but we also gotta pay attention here because this is the section. This is the header <laughs> of this INI file so that the engine knows what these are for. So we gotta make sure we copy this information as well. So what we can do is we can copy that. I have it here. And we can go into our pick class. So this is the directory of our project here, this tutorial. We can go to config and we have default editor. We can open that and it's pretty empty. And we could just copy that. So we got the header part, so the Unreal Ed options. And we have the default options here. So actor, character, player controller, pretty much everything that we see here. So these options, right? So now we can just copy the last line here. Whoops, we copy it. I'll add a space here just so we separate it out a little bit. And now you'll remember our directory here. So it, uh, right here we have script uh, forward slash, and then this is where we put in those directories. So instead of engine, it's gonna be pick class. Make sure you spell it exactly the same. Uh, punctuation, capitalization, everything like that. And then instead of scene component, our class name is test actor. Everything else can be left the same. So we can close that. Uh, we can minimize Visual Studio and we have our project here. We'll need to restart the project. 
So let's just navigate quickly back to our project folder and open up the U project. And we'll load up the editor. Okay, so our editor is open again. Now, if we go into the content browser, right click, do blueprint. Here we have test actor. Uh, the information you get here as the tool tip will exist in Visual Studio uh, when you do the, uh, when you add a comment on top here. We're not gonna do that, that doesn't really matter. So now we can just simply, instead of looking at like this, like test actor and having to find it here, we can literally just press this button and it creates a new blueprint for us. And we know it's of test actor because when we open up the blueprint, the parent class at the top right says test actor. So that's it. It was actually much more easy. It was much easier than I thought it was. I thought I, thought I was going to have to update uh, UMG or go into the engine source code and just mess something up there. So it's a good thing that we didn't have to do that. So just to briefly recap. So inside of our project, there is the default editor INI. So it's under config, default editor INI. And there we can add this uh, header for, uh, for script slash unreal ed dot unreal ed options. Make sure to copy and paste this section. Uh, I'll put this in the description as well, just so you can easily copy and paste it if you need it. Uh, and then add a new line for your special class. And just be careful again for your directory. So again, for me, the project name is pick class and the actor name is test actor or the class name, I should say. So everything else is left, is left the same. And then in order to see the change, you just have to restart the editor. And then when you do pick class, it will appear here. So hopefully you find that useful. I, I definitely do find it useful in order. It helps with the workflow, especially if you're making uh, multiple assets of the same kind of actor. So if you're making multiple data assets, gameplay effects, actors, what have you, you can easily just find it here. Uh, one click button creates it for you and you're done. You don't have to kind of search through all the classes to get it to do what you need to do. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Life of Jevons channel for more tutorials. Make sure to check out the Hero Game Development live stream. This is where I actually learned how to do this myself. Uh, you'll see me being, uh, you know, searching through uh, the engine source code to actually find this information. So maybe you'll find it useful there. Uh, also in the description, you'll find a link to my Discord server. In this Discord server, there are a bunch of channels all related to the game development and my channel uh, where we discuss all aspects of game development and with a focus with Unreal Engine. So feel free to join. There's uh, channels for questions and answers. There's channels about the gameplay ability system. There's channels for almost everything I can think of. Uh, so join. Have fun, and we'll try to learn something. Uh, so once more, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.